Welcome to Nibble TV with the Lenovo Idea Center Horizon 27 um, all-in-one computer here which is also usable as a tablet with a um, runtime about of two hours when you unplug it here um, from the PSU but otherwise we have of course here the possibility to use it as a standard desktop PC um, all-in-one with a 27 inch um, full HD display. So on the left side we have all the ports that you uh, need for your everyday uh, usage as you can see we have HDMI uh, for plugging in external monitors or maybe a beam or anything like that, um, USB 3.0 twice, SD card reader, headphone and microphone of course and also tiny hole, maybe even a reset um, uh, hole right there. So on the back you can see that we have a, a stand which is a quite innovative uh, from Lenovo as you will see in the um, later part of the video because you can just um, put down the device completely with one hand and stand it up also again and you don't have to worry about the stand on the back, you can just really use it with one hand. Otherwise we have a lot of things here inside the um, box when you will unbox it you can see that we have uh, quite some accessories here for gaming that you don't have to buy extra but are all inside for example here this little pooks and then also here uh, these little uh, gaming controllers which I will demonstrate to you in uh, just a few <coughs> minutes and you can see also we have a, a little cube here for um, games like Monopoly which you have to of course uh, charge since they are wireless and then inside the box we have also here some extras in case of uh, you are a heavy gamer and you just uh, use your little books maybe um, too much you can uh, change the um, bottom part here and also a bad, um, uh, keyboard and the mouse is also inside the box for your everyday use. Uh, scenario. So you can see here on the front we have the 27 inch uh, screen which is full HD and quite some uh, quite sharp if you don't go too close of course but you should not um, be too close to the device anyway since of course it's quite big and you have to have a standard um, um, distance to it. On the left we have here on the bottom part some LEDs which show you the status of the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and battery and of course the hard drive that's inside. I think there's even a terabyte of space inside which you can probably even upgrade if you uh, want to. Then we have here um, volume control, uh, mute, no there's no mute, there's the um, um, display brightness, um, reset and of course the lock on the front. We have also a camera for Skyping and other um, camera applications and two microphones. And on the left we only have actually here an on-off switch, nothing else and of course the second speaker. On the right side there was the first speaker for your stereo sound. And now here as I said before we have a keyboard inside which is looking quite good. There's also a num numpad and some extra buttons for volume control um, and mute. And here's the mouse, which, can, which is an optical mouse, of course, with all the features that you already know from other mice. But you can, of course, turn the mouse also off. If you are on the go, you can just uh, twist it around and then the mouse is off and the batteries uh, the battery that's inside is of course uh, spared and you can see I cannot uh, use it anymore here for uh, using the device. So let's check out a little bit that uh, um, software of the Lenovo. You can of course use Windows 8 regularly, nothing special here with multi um, finger. It's quite fast with the Intel um, Ivory Bridge processor inside, but you can also tilt down the screen and as you can see Aura, the Lenovo software starts up right away. <coughs> This little software is a little bit like you already remember maybe from the Surface a few years ago we had a special software and also the Surface UI which was before Windows um, 8 and you can see that we have here also the possibility to look at our pictures and throw them around on the screen. Use this little um, tool here to look at even more music maybe that you have on your device, some videos. You can just drag and drop here the videos here on the screen and then you can play them later, you can make them bigger or smaller. So this is really a multi-user um, user scenario. Then what you can also do is, which is probably one of the most interesting things, is not only download apps, but you have also the pos possibility to a game. That's why we have that many controllers inside. One of the uh, most interesting games is maybe Monopoly, where you could use your a little um, um, cube right there which I showed you before but actually I want to show you a different game I just accidentally hit the Monopoly button but you can see it it's quite big it's probably as big as a regular Monopoly screen that you know and probably even love from your uh, offline 
usage and for some reason it's in Spanish by, uh, right now. But you can of course set up different languages. Let's start a game called Raiding Company where you can use these little um, gaming devices for um, playing with up to four players of course. Here you could choose here four players in each corner. One player, two players of course quite interesting but I'm alone. So let's just choose a character, hit go, and then let me just put the controllers right here on the screen. And then you can see that you can just run around here with the left controller, and with the right one you can shoot objects here that you would like. And you can see it's automatically actually um, aiming, which is quite handy. And there's of course mummies coming at you, and you should kill them all. As always, in these shooters you just have to kill everything that stands in your way and in the way of, I don't know, getting a treasure or anything like that. And it's a quite interesting game. Usually you play it of course with two hands, but even with one hand you see it's impossible. You just have to be um, a fast changer. There we go. So, yeah, this is a game that you can play with up to four players and let me just finish it up right here and Let's go home, let me remove these, exit. You can see it's uh, quite quick, you don't have to wait that long for anything to do and it's really a nice little device to not only work at home but also play with your children or guests or anything like that. And just hit play here. I think I have two players now also, but you can just really use here this little hook to put on the screen and then you can just play the regular game as you already know and uh, probably love. Here the air hockey, of course it's not as loud and fast as the real thing, but it's quite nice for kids and you can of course use these books for uh, other things also but these are the basic games that you have seen before that are pre-installed and there is of course an app store where you can get probably more in the future if a lot of developers will sign up for the Aura um, Developer Center. Let me just go back and then exit. So if I put the screen back up with only one hand, you don't have to do anything really with the um, other one, you can just hit here OK and then it goes right away back to the, the Windows 8 home screen and there you can see you can do anything now again, like you could open Excel, what you can also Skype here with the camera, which is looking quite good here in HD and you can do anything that you know from your notebook or desktop PC in Windows 8. So thank you much for watching. This was the short hands-on here with the Lenovo Idea Center Horizon 27, which is available um, soon in um, your area probably also. Till next time, peace and again, and don't forget to subscribe.